A tiny robot is proving size does not matter when it comes to speed and strength. Engineers at UC Berkeley have created a lightweight and durable robot that can navigate mazes with the agility of a cheetah. And it's all because of a feature that's unique to insects. An article about this robot was recently published in the journal Science Robotics. Joining us now to tell us more about the impressive invention is Liwei Lin the senior author of that article and professor of mechanical engineering at UC Berkeley. Professor, thank you so much uh, for joining me. You say it's an insect-sized robot. Are we talking like ant size, beetle size? It's the size like a cockroach. Oh, a cockroach, okay. Yeah. So uh, what prompted you and your team to design a, a robot of this size with those types of capabilities? So we are amazed about the agility and also the robustness of a cockroach because they can run and maneuver very fast. And if you step on it, they would actually survive most of it. So that's why you decided to, to create a robot, one of it. Yes, right, <laughs> okay. exactly. Okay, and uh, I mean, what type of functionality or what do you, what do you see this being uh, useful for um, outside of, you know, uh, going through mazes? Uh, that's a very good question. Uh, if you look at the news, we know Florida condo collapse. I, I read the news today, 94 people have died there. So I think one day this kind of robot will be acting like cockroach and that will sneak through the small holes uh, to do the a search and rescue function to identify the survivor and maybe we can save some lives. Wow, okay, well, that's like a, a really great way to, to apply it into a real world situation where, where people are desperate for help in something like that. What makes this one so special compared to other tiny robots? I know there must be, um, you know, several tiny robots out there. Yes, this one actually has the fastest running speed and also the highest agility. And that actually would be able to do many things that other robots cannot do because most of other robots are slow. And once you put different sensor on, really slow down everything and it's not uh, agile as this one. Okay, I'm looking at this video here. It looks like uh, kind of like how you said, you know, when you squish a, a cockroach, they more than likely will survive after the first squish. In this video that we just showed, a block of some sort fell on top of the robot and it is still working. So that is also a capability of this robot. Anything else that, that we uh, haven't discussed about uh, the different uh, aesthetics of this robot? Uh, we also have an interesting demonstration in our paper. We actually put a gas sensor on the robot and when the robot is moving around, it's recording the gas concentration so actually from the map, we can identify where is the gas leakage as one other possible application. Okay, and, and so I know we talked search and rescue. That's one of the ways that you would like to see this uh, type of robot be used out in the world. Any other functions? Uh, actually, one other guy said maybe we can make a lots of these kind of robots such that it's like a toy and for the kids to play around like a swan of things. So that's another potential application because this could be made very expensively. Okay, anything else you want uh, to share about the insect-sized robot? So this is a still early stage of our research, but this is a very promising direction for many different possibilities. So we are very proud of our work. As you should be, definitely. Thank you so much for joining me, Professor. Appreciate it. Thank you. Will United States regulate